I don't know how to put it. Strong? Like, the, the ships are really good? That's a way of putting it. Um, maybe I think it's really the weapons are pretty good, so I've been hesitant to add it. But maybe one day. It, it is, like, really, really pretty. So I hope you enjoy it. I do hope you enjoy it. Animal uh, portrait pack and the fairy portrait pack. Let's go. I hope you enjoy those as well. Again, I think a lot of the, the, the base, like, factions will also add that stuff for you. Um, like like we in in my previous mods had all sorts of different like types of types of creatures there was there was all sorts of like alien they weren't aliens i think they were humans that had been gene modded by vic one of the factions to turn them into like you know like animal people but maybe they were aliens i don't know I don't, there's no aliens in the base lore but in some of the mods there might be i don't know man um but i hope you enjoy the mods i've never specifically added a portrait pack um, because again, I just, I like the base portraits a lot, and then the the factions add their own. So I'm like, ah, there's enough. But there's definitely some cool portrait packs. There's a portrait pack for for everyone, I think. You know, whatever your taste, there is probably a portrait pack for you. It's like the easiest thing to mod in. Um, if you if you're just using like you know, um, not original assets, you know, if it's art that's already out there, I think you literally just have to like clip the files in. Like you know, it's like I'd imagine that's like one of the easier mods to make if you're not making the art. Or if you are, I just happen to have the art already made or whatever. Then you have the nuke missile. There's yeah, yeah. That's that's what I've heard. Is the 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 semi breve? I think they're called the the UAF nukes. They're they're like pretty out there. They're an outlier in terms of power. Um, and then I've heard their fighters are also very strong. I spend my day around my uh, yeah. It's um, it's I've never done it, but. If you if you know much about coding, it it's it seems like you know the game is really like mod like oriented. So maybe Bubba, if if you know like anything about it, it might it might be doable. And I, I think specifically if you're just trying to add portraits, that seems very doable. I think that's like I wouldn't even you know consider that like making a mod. Um, the adding portraits I think is 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 very very doable. I think you could make that happen. Again, I don't know, but I think you could. I, I have confidence in that one. Um, and we'll win this battle. Unless he sends all his Terminators at me, like, all at once, right at the end. But that's the only thing I'm a little scared of. Unless that happens, we win for sure. And we are just sitting here fighting this guy. He's already been Alpha 4, though. He's an Alpha 4 Apex, so. so it's, a, it's not like I'm wasting my time. This is a potent enemy to be fighting, you know. And one more phase lance should kill him. He's doing his best to tank, but yeah. Oh, that was the last enemy remaining. All right. Well, all right. Sorry, everyone. Keep, keeping everyone on the field longer than they needed to be. For Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you would need, like, any coding. I don't think there would be coding at all. Um, I think you would you would literally clip files into the game. I, I mean, I, that might be, you know, considered coding, but I think that would be incredibly doable. Yo, is that Pikachu eating? Oh, he's drinking a little soda? That's cute, dude. That's cute. All right. Let's, let's take this stuff. Um... Oh, because we're full on fuel. Okay. No alpha cores, but I wasn't really expecting one. I was hoping for one, but it was a very low chance on that one. Okay, um, drop this. Now I'll take it back. Ooh, I turn... I always do that. I turn off names. I mean, to hit five, to, like, go faster, but then I'm on this tab, so I hit five to turn off names. It annoys me. I do it far too frequently. All right, so Sindria shouldn't be attacking for, like, another couple we should be, you know, good to go on that one. Yeah, just a random drone ship. I probably killed it. Uh, try tech with relation down by 147, I suppose. Um, if you say so. so this is a doable fight. Yeah, there's a there's a radiant there, but nothing else too spooky. And we are now properly built to fight them. And by properly built, I just mean we have the hard flux. Um, so we should be a okay versus this fight. Uh, again, can't send anything. We'll capture. We'll naturally capture one, and I'll capture the other, and that'll get us sorted. And then I think maybe after this fight, we go home. I could be wrong, but maybe. I mean, it's I, there's no wrong about that one. I, I, I might choose not to, I mean, I should say, but I think after this one, we'll head home, fix up the strikes, Down see here. see what's going on. Creatures live beyond the normal rules of time. Hey! Ichi Ichikohama, welcome on in. Thank you for the lurking. The fairy portrait pack does the creator access for the ownership part. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I'm sure all the portrait packs do that. I I, I very much doubt that they are um, like like stolen artwork. You know, the art might be like pre-made or whatever, but I, I I can't imagine any of the art from the portrait packs is stolen. Um, 
you know, people tend to be pretty pretty honorable about that. I know I know not everyone is, but you know, mod creators I would assume are, are doing you know their best to make sure they're not just taking stuff that's not theirs. They want their their mod to do well, and in the modern age, if it's stolen, you know, if the art is stolen, you can like just like reverse image it, you know, uh, and figure that out pretty quickly. I need to go save my uh, Pegasus. This is not a Pegasus. This is a Odyssey, but it's under a lot of threat. Let me get in here, man. Hold up. I was just goofing around taking points. We are, we are, we are no longer on goofing around taking points mode. Okay, the Odyssey actually like saved itself. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, but I am gonna die now because the, the Radiant back there. That Radiant did a lot of DPS, man. Then I see after multiple mods using generative AI. Was at least one that's stolen because of the AI generative stuff. I mean, I could see that. I could see that. Um, I could see the AI taking, you know, you know, using like whatever, like its data and creating something on accident that is that it was already, you know, like like copywritten or whatever that was made by someone else. But I don't know. It's really tough with with AI. I don't, you know, I of course won't speculate, but I don't know what, what's going to happen with, like, AR, AI art and stuff like that. Um, I think it could be, like, a really cool tool, but I don't know. Alright, I'm going to try to fight this guy. Ooh, his engines are off. That's actually really useful. I don't want to be in front of him. This way, I don't have to be in front of him. I can shove him into my ship too. Now let me let me get away from from here because I am I am taking some EMP there and I don't want to get like uh, burnt out or whatever. I don't want my engines getting turned off. Okay, so he's on the other side of the battlefield now from from all of his allies. I don't know if that's actually a good thing. Also, I should not have booped my condor. Booping the condor is definitely not a good thing. It was not intentional, nor is it good. Yeah, the condor is gonna die. It didn't die right there. So I just have to, I just have to fight this guy forever. Uh, like I can't, uh, I can't, I can't let the, the this guy get to the fleet, because uh, I have booped him to the other side. But I think the fleet can just handle everything else if I just sit here fighting this guy. Well, let's go. If the Odyssey could help me just like a touch, that would be so hard. Please turn the engines off. Turn the engines off while he's while he's fluxed out or while he's vented. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's go. Okay, I'm giving his admiralistic guy a plotting mutiny. Honestly, honestly, I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be mad if that captain like started started a rebellion. I'd be like, fair enough, brother. I literally got your ship killed. How you doing, Cassandra? I hope you're well. Equal to yeah, it's 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 tough. I won't, I won't get into it for sure. You know, we we don't discuss like anything too serious like that. But and AI is not like too serious. I mean, AI in general is serious, but you know. AI interacting with like art inappropriately isn't like a super serious topic, but I won't get into it. But there, it's it's tough. It's definitely tough. Okay, this is what I wanted to not happen: was the uh, radiant to start attacking my fleet. Uh -huh. Oh, dude! All those missiles. Ah, none of them got in to turn the shields. Whatever. At least we're sitting back here on the engines, and we're, we're pressuring the engines. Yo, I can just, like, follow where the shields are? Nah, I turned it the other way. It baited me. It actually just baited and outsmarted me by turning its shields, its shields the other way for one second. We're doing some damage here. And again, the rest of the fleet's, like, killing all the other ships. Uh, the, so there's, like, no remnants left. So eventually we will all focus on this, this Radiant, and, you know, take it out. Why didn't this thing shield tank? It just almost died with, with no shields. Or with, like, no shield damage. Like, it, it just didn't shield tank. Okay. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Dude, this ship is gonna get so destroyed by that EMP thing. That was a really good Rift Cascade emitter thing, if that's what it's called. I can't remember. Reality Disruptor, I think? Either way. Um, it, it absolutely destroyed this thing. That was really good. So, it, this thing's dead now. I just literally just gotta sit here. It's already over, though. Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen stuff like that, too. I've seen stuff like that, too. But I'm, it'll it'll get sorted out with time, I'm sure. As with all new tech, there will, there will be, you know, issues with it. All right, this fight, it's taken forever. But it's, you know, this, this guy's the tanky, but he's going down finally. All right, let's go. Alpha core? There was an alpha core in that radiant. All right. I will, I'm not upset with, with three betas. Two gammas is like whatever, but three betas is like a lot. I'll take it. Uh, fuel? Okay, we're capped on fuel. It's just so much fuel to leave behind every time I'm like, what? But it's just, we're just capped and then 
you know, that's just how much was generated. Okay. We could maybe get... Oh, we already searched the floor. Never mind. I was going to say maybe we could get something else there, but we already did the floor loot. Um, we could fight these guys, I suppose. But as, as mentioned before, I think I'm just going to head out. I'm going to go on over to the, um, the other system that's just next door with a high danger area. Put a, uh, what is it called? A colony down there and then turn it into a star fortress. So we'll go here. Morning beacons. Yeah, just up there. Um, I suppose we should check out the yellow star while we're here too. I'll put the colony. No, I'll, I'll check out the star first. Um, cause, cause, uh, the colony will take my people and stuff. It'll make me weaker. I want to head right home after we do that. Cause we, again, we just won't have enough people. Survey the desert world. Could be good. It's terrible. It could have been good though. Toxic world, toxic world. We'll see what's up. We'll see if they have ruins. Any, any ruins in the world? Any ruin enjoyers? No? All right, whatever. I could scan them, but we're just leaving. What's Tiamat? Let's go. Tiamat should definitely be a red a red star. Tiamat's a red dragon. How could they get it wrong? I'm pretty sure the star names are attached randomly. Ooh, Rana is size four. Rana? Rana? I don't know how you say this. What do you do here? You were you were one of the heavy industry worlds, but what do I what would, what would I want to build on you now? Mining, looks like. Mining's okay, so sure. That's what's coming up next. And this will be probably good money. You know, when mining's done, we should be, like, profitable. Not not to a, a disgusting degree, like like our, poor, our first worlds are, but to a respectable degree, you know? Any amount of profit is all I want from, from the secondary worlds. They're there to generate ship, uh, you know, ship producing capabilities. Any other, anything else they do, any other profit or whatever is just, you know, bonus. And that, the other one grew as well. And I did pop into the, the, the star itself for the sake of, um, and it's really, there's one world and it's right next to the remnants. Okay. But I popped into the star to try to avoid the, the remnants. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to, like, colonize here. Because I have to, like, hide from these guys to do that. Uh, like, you can't do it while you, while you're, uh, like, while they're hunting you directly. We do need to put some stuff at these worlds. The, the size two ones. When did you grow? Did you just grow? I think so, yeah. What do you do? Mining as well? Yeah, they, they, they're probably all going to have a lot of, a lot of mining going on. Some other random stuff, maybe. Uh, mining here, too? Yeah, okay. They all suck. It is what it is. Mining. Oh, and these can be heavy batteries. Great. Oh, and all the orbital works. Oh, this is gonna be, like, a lot of money, dude. Wow. Um, heavy industry, patrol HQ. Building? Oh, no, building. Yeah, not upgrading, but building. And we could upgrade the stations. I'll do that later. Um, I will worry about that down the road. Heavy industry, upgrade to orbital works. And heavy industry to orbital works. Okay, and then is there no uh, no other ground defenses yet? Okay, so megaports. I hope those are done everywhere. Megaport. Yeah, megaports are done. Okay. Um, so they, these are getting there. They're getting there. They should produce some wealth soon enough. So I think we're far enough away to sneak away from this guy. If we have to fight him, we can. This or the subordo is like super doable. That's manageable as well, and that's a subordo. So yeah. Okay, another 700k this month. Maybe we could just upgrade the stations already. We're making a lot of money each month, but I'll I'll need that money for for the the future colonies. So I will wait. I will wait. Form survey. Survey says scattered ruins, and ruins say decent loot, I suppose. And then let's uh, colonize. Establish a colony. Confirm. Add structure. Orbital state. Oh no, we need the the whatever the the patrol HQ has to be done first. So, the remnants will, will attack this immediately, so I have to leave. They don't attack it if you're not here. From my understanding, at least, I don't know. Um, so we'll go home somewhere, like just any of the worlds, um, to buy some more dudes. I guess we should go home home. Is there a gate around here? I don't think so. Yeah, this is like a weird gate-free area. Go to Samara. Okay, Samara has a gate that's not turned on, so I guess we can do that too. Hegemony might hate us, but who cares? Hegemony would need a very powerful fleet to even want to attack us, so... Even if they hate us, we can we can make it through safely. And I don't think they hate us right now. They might. Yeah, they hate us. Whatever. After Sendria attacks, I think I'm gonna drop the um, the Persian League like protection from Hegemony, because our planets can defend themselves quite likely. Um, and then on top of that, I want to see what the Hegemony AI Inspector like colony crisis is. So um, 
after Sindria attacks, I think it's time to drop the Persian League payments. They're protecting us, but they're also, you know, causing, um... Oh, and actually, I don't know if my secondary colonies could really protect the, uh... Like, fend off the, uh, hegemony. Mm, whatever, we'll see. I might hold on to the, uh... Persian League protection for a little while longer, but we are paying them, like, a lot. How much was it this month? 270 grand. So we could be making over a million. Over a million dollars a month. Uh... Which is, like, sick, you know? Um, but we're not quite there because we're paying out the Persian Leaks. Or they're, they're, like, you know, bounties or whatever. Not their bounty. They're, uh... Doofies? What are they called? What's it called when you pay to stay part of, like, a group? Your... It's membership fees, but there's another word for it. Your, your... I don't know what, it, what it's called, man. Maybe it is dues. Either way, we're paying them whatever we have to. So if we could drop that, we'd be making more money. But I don't know how scary the hegemony is going to be. We'll see how scary Sandria is. And that'll maybe, you know, tell me how scary hegemony might be when they when they come to attack with their crisis event. Which, again, I'm assuming is going to be AI inspector related. Because um, that's, like, their thing. That's what the hegemony did before. Spaceport is done. Add orbital station. High tech. Build. And then once this is built, we will upgrade it immediately. Once it's upgraded. And I'm not going to do hazard pay. I don't really care if this place gets, like, you know, grown. Um, but once it's built, we'll upgrade it, and then we'll, once it's a star fortress, we'll come back with alpha cores, and we'll, we'll take it over. Bring 25% of the Persian League. Yeah, 25%, not of my profit, of the money my colonies make. Just total gross income. I think it's 20%. Um, but I pay 20% of the total gross income my colonies make, so it's a lot. It's, like, quite a lot. Um, but they protect me from AI inspectors and stuff, so there's ups and downs with it. I hope you're doing well today, Peyton. Welcome on in. Sort, storage, ship weapons. We got lots of them. We did lots of fighting. Um, and, you know, doing all these battles without losing ships, like, constantly, is allowing us to stock up on some of those weapons that I, you know, maybe didn't have as much of before. Okay, so, here we go. Um, and then open market this stuff. Again, I'm not selling this very efficiently. I'm just selling it wherever. You know what I actually could do? Stockpiles. Can't I just put this in stockpiles? Sure. Why not? I don't need the money. I would rather just put it in my stocks. My stockpiles, that is. And if we ever need them, they'll just use them. Then storage. Not bad. Two alpha cores, 11 beta cores, and 53 gammas. I think we gave away like 50 gammas recently, too. And again, I'm going to put these in um in the one world that's going to be under threat from Sindria, which is Hrim. Um, yeah, we need to put them here and here. And that'll bring our, our colony defense up, or the ground defense is up to an insane amount. I don't know what the highest we currently have is, but it's going to go up to like 50k. If you donate fuel supplies to Kazaron, it's 0%. How do I do that? How, how do I manage that? To manage to negotiate kickback? To do, I tried to do that, Phaeton, and he wouldn't, like, I was like, yo, you should make it only 5% and I'll pay you. And he was like, okay. Um, and again, I can't actually, like, fight these guys because it'll lower the colony threat, so I sadly just have to ignore it. Um, he was like, okay, and then he was like, we have to do something else. And I was like, what else? And then it wouldn't let me do whatever the other thing was. So I, I don't know if I wasn't, like, powerful enough or whatever. But how do I donate fuel, Cassandra? Is that something I have to do earlier? Is that, like, maybe when you make the deal? Um, I can beat up the Persian blockade. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't do that, so maybe if I did fight them off, I could go with a better offer. Um, because I, I didn't fight them at all. So we're up to, uh, 9,972, or 9,720. Yeah, 1,400, or 14,000, excuse me, and then this should crank it up even more. Yeah, 21,000, so it's gonna take a ridiculous amount of fuel to, to burn my fuel production. Um, so hopefully the, the Cindrians can't do that. Make a big fleet, lots of fuel, and drop it on them. Oh, do you, do you mean, uh, like, like a, uh, a saturation bombardment? Or do, do you mean, like, literally you can offer them, like, 10,000 fuel or something? Because if it's, I mean, at 10,000, I literally have that right now. Um, I just made that number up, but I could, I haven't actually ever tried to go back and speak with him. To be like, yo, can you, can you chill with, like, what you're doing to me? Um, so maybe, actually, I could just try that. Like, what, no harm in just trying. And we have 20 of these, you'll love to see it. Oh, we have those two Pegasus, don't we, as well? I'm going to drop some of these off. Yeah, a, a fuel donation. Yes, yes. A very, a very um, targeted area to donate the fuel. Yes, war crimes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I wonder if I could go speak with him though, because like I'm really powerful now. I wonder if I could renegotiate without war crimes. Um. And do I want to? Do I want to bring these with me right now? Nah. Yo, they got some dragon fires like on them. 
These are built like almost how I would want to build them. Like this is kind of how I like them. Um, so I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to just dragging these out as they are pretty much. We'll make some changes, of course, but they're not bad. But I don't think I want to take them right now. I'm not going to go do some Psycho Ordo fights for, for for the moment. So I will I will leave them there. We do need two strikes, I believe. Because we lost two strikes. We just lose one. I guess we just lost one. Go back to storage. And then some condors. Because we just don't have enough, in my opinion. I was going to say, didn't we make like 20? And we did. There we go. So we'll take like three more. Um... So we have five, yes, five condors, and then four shrikes, and two hammerheads. Yes, perfect. And then we will fix up these shrikes real quick. And it'll only cost like 70k to fix them. Yeah, yeah, perfect. A total, that is. Um, so we're all good there. And then the new condors need to be made in the image of the old condors. Why are they like weird? Hmm? Did I not have broadswords? What was one of my condors not made correctly? Whatever. Auto fit. Strike. Auto fit strike. And there they they will all take exactly the same. As long as we have these missiles. I, I don't know how many of these we have, but as long as we have them, they will they will be made the same. Because we have like a hundred of these, literally like hundreds. And we got plenty of broadswords, I think, too. Eight from storage. That's actually not too many. We might need more of those. Because we lose the we lose the um the condors frequently. So we might need more of those. How many story points are we up to right now? Fourteen! Mmm. Wouldn't mind putting another S mod on these bad boys. We have, we have enough story points, you know? I think it's warranted. And I might S mod like these. I don't know, though. I don't know. Isn't it rebalanced the fighters in a while? All the fighters that aren't broadswords kind of suck. I heavily disagree with that. I like a lot of different fighters. I, and especially bombers are like a different category altogether. But I think Xyphos are really good. Um. I've not used the talons, but I've heard that the, the that they in swarms can actually do a lot of work, a lot of work. Um, and then some of the drone ones are really good in my opinion. I, I think there's there's some good fighters in there. Um, even the wasps when I was using them on the Odyssey, I didn't hate them. I didn't really see them in action, but I didn't like hate them. I think I think there's some some good fighters. I love claw. Yeah, that's what I currently have on my Odyssey, and it's it's totally fine. I actually like I'm, I respect the amount of EMP pressure they apply. So I, I think the, the fighters are in a good position. I would say broadswords are like probably the best one. They generically like fit like almost any role, but um, I think I think there's a lot of good fighters. I, I am not of the opinion a, a major rebalance needs to happen. Maybe some tweaking here and there, but I, I think they're, they're in a pretty good spot. And we're gonna go uh, heavy armor built in and auxiliary thrusters added on. And I don't know, give us, how much does it cost to put this thing, 12? 890 what if i go down like this what how much are we at there 930 okay that's better um or is it better because i could crank this all the way up yeah it's only 890 so this is better so this gives us a little more flux you know uh, dissipation because we're not quite there so i'll take that build in heavy armor or no yeah i have to do this yeah okay build in heavy armor Add in auxiliary thrusters, lower this to 30, and then add this on. There we go. Okay. So 1099 on you, only 930 on you. Do you have the skill or something? Yeah, you have the skill. Okay. So you're you're dissipating a lot of flux. You're not quite there, but you're dissipating a fair amount. And I might I might put some some S mods on the shrikes. It, if you do S mod these shrikes, they can get 360 shields, or I don't know, I could make them like hardened shields and stuff, which would help. So. I don't know. I think I think some some strikes, you know, S modding. It might be time. We have story points, you know. I could I could give four here to each, and then we still have eight left. So I wouldn't be opposed to that. Go escort package. Then we'll add in. Um, is it front facing? Does that does that sort us out? Yeah, it does. The 360. Okay. Um, and it's five, and it gives it a little bit of shield tank if I build it in. How much does hardened shields cost? Ten. I would have to lower this by like three to do that. I'm okay with that. Build in. Oh wait, do we need extendo shields now? We do, we do. I didn't mean to take ITU off, put ITU back on. ITU, then yes, we need to extendo if we want 360, which I do. So I'll build in um, front facing shields to make our shields a little tankier. Uh, 
you know, the build-in is slightly tankier, and then we'll put Harden to make them even tankier. So we have a little bit less capacity than we did. You know, it's like a thousand down. I don't know if this this champion or this champion, if this hero does anything to, to change capacity. It looks like it does ordinance expertise there. So they're getting a little bit extra, but whatever. We're a little lower on flux capacity, but we have way stronger shields. Um, this reducing shield damage taken, this reducing shield damage taken, and this reducing shield damage taken. And we have 360 shields. So I think I think it's a, a solid change. We'll build, nope, add uh, front facing. I think this, no, not, yeah, shield conversion front. I think this is what we did last time when we S modded these. I'm not sure, but I, I was happy with it. We just, we, they just died to remnants. Um, but this is a significant change in the amount of tanking it can do. 0. 0.41 is really good on the shield. Like, what What are you? Oh, you need to be made. Hold up. You weren't, you weren't correct. You're 0. 0.7. You don't have a captain, so that's like a little unfair, but. 0.7 to 0 0.41 is like way better. You know, that's a lot. That's a significant change. What's my pilot's attitude? Like steady, aggressive, etc. Are you, are you, you're this, right? Megasus the Pegasus? Yeah, yeah. I'm steady. All the captains are steady. I keep everyone steady. Um, I've, I used to go aggressive on captains, but I, I go for steady now. Everyone maintains a steady hand. And I might change these to some, uh, some of these, but... I don't know, they just cost more, which means that I feel like drop more flux or something. We drop like something here. I don't know. For now, I'm gonna leave it like this. For now, we will leave it like this. Put this stuff away. Okay. Um, sure, I'll take I'll take some some free stuff, I suppose. There's just supplies sitting there for me, sure. And they're they're from the ships that were made, but I'll take them. And do we put the alpha cores in for him? I believe we did. We did. Let's go. Yeah, it's up to twenty one thousand defense, so. It'll be a while before old uh, old Hegemony, old Cindria gets here, but when they get here, we can fend them off, I think. How many more months? I know if we paused less, there would be more months passing, but whatever. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, it's plus 20? Remnant Nexus. Oh, let's go! I forgot this happened. Um, so this is actually going to make this happen so soon? That's that's Poggy. Um, wait, is it Poggy? Uh, is, is this built yet? Uh, is, are you upgraded? 22 days or 32 days okay it'll be it'll be built in time the upgrades will be there um so because we put that that nexus back down it's actually going to take like a very short amount of time or the the colony back down in the nexus it's going to take a short amount of time for cindria to attack and it's not going to be a remnant nexus bombardment this time because again it's cindria attacking um there, there is a different crisis going on so that's bog i forgot that was going to happen uh thule yeah for kazaron and I know that the fuel donation was war crimes, but maybe some non-war crimes are available to change the terms of our agreement. I'm making so much money, I'm so powerful, like, surely I can, you know, w w you know, wiggle the numbers around a little. And your opponent, nope, nothing I can do there. What if I talk to you like you? A business with Reynard Hannon? W wait, who, what, what am I doing here? Oh, he's, he's the, the guy. Oh no, it's just the same thing. Hmm. All right, never mind. Rip, rip, rip. I will. I will have to live with nothing. So, uh, how long is it? It's happening soon, right? Yeah, we should. We should kind of just go back home. Here, let's check for monitors while we're here. Monitors or something. I want, but we should. We should go home soon. I do need to be there for when Kazaron shows up. I could buy these. Ooh, Mjolnir's. I'll buy those because I don't have access to them. Like I don't think I can make them. Um, I was gonna say I could buy these, but I just made a bunch. Um, so I don't need to, but Mjolnir's we don't have. Are you a large? Medium. Okay, that's what I thought. Anything here I want? I don't know if we're ever going to use a Paladin. We haven't used, like, any on this playthrough, but we'll take them. We'll take those just, just in case. Attack laser. Can never have enough of those. A um, couple of those, maybe. These smaller ones, sure. That stuff, sure. I don't know if we have a bunch of those, but I like them, so we'll, we'll grab a bunch. And then the monitors that we're actually here for. Do you do you have any monitors? I bought a bunch of random stuff. Now that now that we're looking at the ships, do you have any of them? No? Not a single one? Not one. All right, on the black market, I'll buy it. A single monitor. And then we could just purchase some of these. I don't know. They're not that pricey, honestly. Not going to use them. They're, they're just going to go in storage for now. But we, we So we don't have to make them in the future. What? Let, why, leave me alone, dude. What's, what's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Uh, let me mothball these dudes before all of our crew, like, explode. There we go.
we go. Sure. Stay mothballed. I don't care. Um, yeah, lots of lots of points to repair. That's because we we took damage for not having enough crew there for a minute. Um, so we'll we'll use these conquests eventually. Maybe similar to the uh, uh, the Pegasus that I'm planning to use, like the dual Pegasus strat I might employ in the future, where I just send them in to like try to zerg some some ships down. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.